What's up? I'm going to show you how to make your beat sound real nice, real quick using Pro MB's EDM Master preset chain. So I already did it once, but we're going to hide it. I'm going to just do it from scratch right now. So I'm picking. I'm in Pro Tools here. Don't feel like you need to use Pro Tools because you don't, because no one does. So pick an EDM Pre Master. EDM Master Part 1 and check it out. All I'm going to do is check out each of these bands and adjust the threshold. The idea is you want to kind of look in the way this one does. The loudest point of the song is hitting it and then we're kind of adding in dynamics. This isn't actually a compressor. This is, these are expanders. And so we're just going to go through and tweak all the thresholds. OBS getting this. Nice. You know, you gotta know, you gotta figure, you gotta check. So you can adjust the range of any particular band. If you say you have the movement going the way you like it, the loud things are coming through, but maybe you don't want, maybe the band doesn't sound like there's quite enough of it. So by pushing this range up, you're basically making it less dynamic, but uh, giving it more of like a constant volume. So something you really wanna take to center stage, like maybe the mid range, you don't want it so bouncy, so push it up. So we're only tweaking two parameters here. The threshold, and that's really the big one, to get the movement the way we like it. And then the range, which is also this knob down here, to either add more, make it more dynamic, really wild. See, so it kind of can make a hole, so if it sounds like there's a hole in your audio, push it up. Fill in that hole, there you go. All right, so there's the first part. So we're gonna take make another Pro MB after it. After it, super important, plug in order, super important. I'm gonna go grab, in the mix bus, EDM Master Part 2. Now this one's easy, it's just three brand compression. So we set our thresholds, we don't have to tweak that much. Kinda of want it sounding kinda of full and thick at this point. If you feel like one of these bands, maybe a little use mid-range or a little more highs in the whole song, you bring it up like this. The idea with these is to sort of get all the frequ the three main frequency bands under control. All right, and now one more. And this one's fun. This one's really great on future bass, but it works on a lot of a lot of places where we want our um, sub bass. This is the EDM Master Part 3, and what it is is a mono expander for the bass. And you want to set our threshold just the tiniest bit, so the kicks make it totally down here. Doesn't touch the kicks at all, but the stuff that happens around the kicks, that gets expanded and boosted. So this is how you get that like larger than life like trap sub bass. The kicks go right up, don't get touched, and then everything that's underneath the click level gets yanked up like 6 dB. Or, you know, depending on how how quiet it is. So it makes breakdowns super epic, and it makes uh, bass lines that really aren't so in your face, a little more in your face. And if it's too much, you know, you can just derange, or if you really want to exaggerate it, if you really want to clip the bass, <laughs> you can do that. And this one kind of makes the mid-range jump around a little bit. It can be fun. All right, now we can revisit them all and be like, hey, did we make the right decision? Solo band to check it out. That's fun. I feel like we can get a little bit more low mids. So I'm gonna boost, change the, bring the range up. There we go. Let's take a look at these. I usually like this pretty dynamic, so let's let's give it a little more juice. Oh, there we go. Wakes up. All right, so we made some adjustments here. Let's see if we need to do anything here. Yeah, the bass is getting a little kooky, getting a little crushed, bringing up the threshold. It's nice. Let's get the mid range some more. And then one more time on our last set. Yeah, this is huge. Well, get a little more in here. How about? And now I always like to throw an EQ at the end of it. EQ. Fab Filter Pro Q, my fave. And we take a look at this, hover the mouse over the lower part, we get a view over time, and I can see, oh my goodness, what a big hole around 3K. Oh, let's wait for the track to drop in. All right. Still seeing that we have like this area that like kind of feels like it should be filled in. Oh, 
that's nice. So all I did was give myself a really big boost and see which frequencies I liked. That sounds nice, and then bring away that. I'm sorry if that hurts your ears. I have my monitoring kind of low, so it doesn't get into the mic too much. I'm still figuring out the best way to make these tutties. These tutty boys. That sounds nice. Now let's look at our master limiter. I'm using ozone. You can use whatever you want. And wow, we're really slamming it, and it still sounds good. Sick. So there you go. EDM master part one, part two, part three, and then once it's all compressed, little EQ just to clean stuff up and make it all nice. And that's all you need to do. And now the tracks sounded great. Yeah.